Hello guys, today I want to show you how to measure distance using the ultrasonic sensor Arduino and LCD1602. The items that you are going to need for this project are the, uh, the ultrasonic sensor, the Arduino, you are going to need a 10k potentiometer to adjust the backlight of the uh, LCD, the breadboard itself, and this is the LCD1602, and you are going to need a couple of jumper wires. To do this project, what you want to do first is to insert the ultrasonic sensor onto the breadboard. You are also going to insert the potentiometer onto the breadboard. Make sure that the two pins and the third pin over there, they go across the bridge like this. Right. After that, you want to insert the LCD player onto the breadboard. Like this. And then the first thing that you want to do is to get two wires that you are going to use to provide power to the breadboard. So you are going to take one wire that you are going to insert onto the 5 volt pin on the Arduino onto the positive rail of the breadboard. The next wire that you are going to need is going to be the wire that comes from the ground from the Arduino onto the negative rail of the board, breadboard. After completing this part, we now have the breadboard all powered up. So the next thing that we want to do is to wire the ultrasonic sensor that we already have on the breadboard. You are going to need four wires, right? The first one will go from pin VCC on the Arduino to the positive rail of the breadboard. The next one will be from pin TIG on the Arduino to pin number two on the uh, on the Arduino. This is the digital pin number two on the Ardu Arduino. The next one will be the echo pin. You are going to insert a wire from the echo pin on the breadboard, like so, to pin number three on the Arduino board. Then you are going to put the last wire from the ground, which is GND, on the ultrasonic sensor to the negative rail of the breadboard. This completes the wiring of the ultrasonic sensor. The next thing that you want, you're going to get two wires, short wires if you can, from, uh, you're going to connect them from the one pin of the potentiometer, 10K potentiometer to the positive rail of the breadboard. Then the third pin on the potentiometer, which is going to be to the right, they are going to connect it to the negative rail of the breadboard. We are not going to uh, put a wire on the third middle pin of the potentiometer until we, are, we have completed wiring the LCD. Right, now that we have completed the ultrasonic sensor and the potentiometer, we now move to the LCD1602. We are going to start wiring from VSS on the LCD until we get to K, pin K on the LCD. So starting with the VSS on the LCD, we are going to connect it to the negative rail of the breadboard. Then we are going to go on to the next one, which is going to be the pin VDD that we are going to connect to the positive rail of the breadboard. Our pin number three, which is going to be V. VO on the LCD is going to now you have to be careful on this one because we are going to take it to pin the middle pin of the potentiometer over here that we had left out. So just to recap, v, VO on the LCD is going to go to the middle pin on the potentiometer. Right next, we are going to put pin RS on the LCD that is going to go to pin number seven on the Arduino. Then we get under the next pin will be pin RW on the LCD, which is going to go to the negative of the rail. Right, after pin RW that we have put onto the negative rail, we go to pin E on the LCD. We are going to connect it to pin number eight on the Arduino. We are not going to wire anything on pins D010123. So our next connection is going to be from P 
D4 on the LCD that is going on to pin number 9 on the Arduino. The next one is going to be pin D5 that we are going to connect to pin number 10 on the Arduino. The next one pin is going to be pin D6 which we are going to connect to pin number 11 on the Arduino. The last pin that we are going to connect onto the Arduino will be pin D7 that is going to pin number 12 on the Arduino. Alright. Alright. Now that we have put uh, all the pins onto pin D7, we are left with two pins to hook up. The next pin is pin A. We are going to connect pin A to the positive rail of the breadboard and then the last pin which is pin K we are going to connect it to the negative rail of the breadboard. That completes the wiring of this project. If all the wiring is done and it is correct the next part that you want to do is to upload the program for this project from my website using the link written below this video. After that, if you, everything is okay and you power it up, you should be able to have your LCD lighting up, measuring the distance, and as you move an object close to your ultrasonic sensor, you should get some readings over there that will vary whether you're going close or going away. That completes the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. I'll be seeing you in the next project.